Tuesday morning check-in. Final day for this, uh, this phase of the project. We have the bulk of the exterior trim done. All the siding is done. Um, we'll, I'll, I'll work my way over there in, in a few minutes, but we got the bulk of this stuff done. The PVC wraps on the beam itself. We got the soffit, the fascia, bed molding in the corner. Um, still a few things like we need to put uh, ear molding on this side and also cap the end of the beam over there. Uh, but we have all, the, I think I showed already, we have all the siding done around the deck and we ripped a board down um, to basically fill the space of that course of siding because of where the deck surface starts. So instead of having to really have a really short piece of siding right there that would look kind of weird, we this is what we've done the last couple times. This happens. We just have a, a board of the appropriate and necessary size that takes that uh, fills that space and makes it look a whole lot cleaner. And yesterday I put the siding on the back side of the fireplace here. Walk down into the yard real quick. I'm, uh, I've had two of my guys. Whew, I've had two of my guys working on the uh, all this outside trim. I've not had much much to do at all with all these all this roof line trim. Basically, I've had a couple guys working on that for the last several days. But we've got all they've got the the majority of of it done up there to include that little kind of small triangular piece which caps catches the end of the ceiling right there uh, because we had to go flat ceiling for a little bit to uh, make everything work out in there which we yes yeah, same same thing you can see right there so yeah like i said a little a few more details to take care of the end of the beam right there like so uh, we got light fixtures to put up on both both eaves down there um, got all of the posts sleeve skirts and caps on with the exception of these two right here and we've been waiting on a router bit um which i'll i'll probably film a little bit basically we're gonna we're gonna do pvc on this as well and up here oh yeah that was the other thing we did we did pvc pvc fascia boards right here on the on the deck band board as well um so we'll continue that around we just need Everything on the stairs starts with doing the PVC boards right here because we're basically going to cut them to fit lengthwise and get them screwed on and then we're going to actually use a router bit and make all these cuts just following down the whole length and profile of the stringer and then we can put on the treads and the risers and all that good stuff but we were waiting on the router bit to get delivered, which it finally did yesterday. So, oh, it was supposed to get delivered Friday. We would have been able to do all this yesterday, but it didn't. So here we are, final day of this project or this phase, and we'll get to it, try and knock it out today. Um, but the big thing that we are <clears throat> gonna be back for afterwards, like I said a while back, we are not doing the railings. Um, there's some, powder coated metal ones that are getting done by a different company and then of course the fireplace is still in progress with all the brickwork on that so that all needs to be done before we can do finish up stuff inside the fireplace got to do the hearth tv mantle everything up there and i also started near the end of the day yesterday i cut open the ram board right here and i made i made this cut all the way down the cut you know on my side and then I've, uh, I need to mark out and make the other cut and then drop our, our seam board in there, our deck board that runs, you know, perpendicular to the rest of them and breaks up this 25 foot long span. Won't have, won't have this final, you won't see the final finished product obviously in this one. Like we're not going to pull up the RAN board because our mason's still, you know, obviously working over top of it. We got painters starting tomorrow, I think, um, for doing all of the siding and trim. Uh, painting that is necessary so we're gonna leave it down for them so it's less stuff they have to worry about as far as covering the deck and uh, getting paint on it and things like that so but I will check in a little bit throughout the day I'm sure and then we'll be uh, we'll be all packed up and out of here for a while and that'll be the end of this video when we get to that point later in the day and then I'll do the final the final uh, overview once everything's done uh, later in a few weeks so stay tuned 
throughout the day, or with us throughout the day. It'll just be a few minutes for you guys, but we're gonna keep working, it's always working. All right, guys, we are done with this phase of work. <clears throat> so I'll give you the quick walk through. We got a lot done. We got we actually got rained out yesterday. So this is a continuation. This is actually Wednesday, Tuesday morning is when I filmed last. So we got the stairs done finally after a very, very long time of not being able to get to them yet. Um, we are short one board here. You'll notice it's not full length, of course, and then we're missing. We are also short a few of the plugs as well for these deck boards but this actually worked out really well we just put this on as a full uncut board and then used a router to follow the stringers and make that cut and that worked out really really well so we finally got all that done we got all of this board as well the fascia running around the deck is all done they wrapped up the rest of all of this trim here the soffit fascia etc there um we had finished the rake board out there as well and then we actually added i don't know how well you can see at the lighting but we actually added a piece of stained shoe molding that follows that line just inside of this rake board staying the same color as the ceiling to hide that joint a little bit better and then we also did some kind of makeshift caps and bases for these columns and finally put in the seam board here Again, we ran out of the, the screws and plugs, so that's why you can see we still got a couple holes because we didn't even have enough screws or the proper screws to screw this board down. And, uh, but I also, our Mason just finished the fireplace. Looks really, 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 really good. Um, we still have to paint the fire brick black. We're gonna do that when we come back. In addition to installing the mantle and the TV and obviously the hearth still has to go in but the brick looks awesome, awesome, awesome. Everything looks awesome. We uh, we got ceiling fans that'll be coming in later that we're gonna do. Yeah, a lot of just the small button up details got done. So we do still have, we got a couple more days worth of work when we come back, but the we are, we are like 99.5% done with this job, maybe 99%. We'll, we'll not cheat that half percent. But when we come back, we'll do, I'll do a whole, a whole nother part with the finish, the finishing up of this. It'll be, you know, won't have ram board down on the deck anymore. I think the painters come tomorrow to start on all of the siding and trim and everything. Of course, uh, that all needs to be, all needs to be caulked and prepped and caulked and painted and all that good stuff. But it is, it's been a lovely day. I think it's in like, it might be in the high 70s, low 80s. I don't honestly know what it is right now, but it's really, really nice out. And uh, it's been a really nice day to be on a covered deck working today. So it was disgusting and rainy yesterday. It was not a good day to be out here. But I hope you guys have enjoyed. I have no idea what part this is because I haven't finished editing everything as of, as of today. We've obviously made it to this point in the series, so it of course says in the title what part it is. We got one more to go. It'll be the final, final uh, finished product. So I will can't wait to see that myself and, and finish it up and see all you guys back then. So stay tuned, like and subscribe, follow us on Instagram, all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys on the next episode of The Bedfords.